All righty now, what's up with ya? you, Super Jit? Mm -hmm. I'm the same again. <laughs> All right, so we gonna we gonna start out asking, what is your name and how old are you? My name is Damon. I'm 27 years old. All right, Damon. Where were you born, Damon? I'm Georgia Peach. You know I mean? St. Mary, Georgia. You was born in Georgia. Oh, so you're not Saint even Mary. from Jacksonville. You know, born in, in the country, too. Oh, yeah? Where, so you grew up in Jacksonville or you grew up in Georgia? Both. Okay, okay. So you have family down here? A little bit. But most of them in Georgia and New York. Georgia and New York. Oh, so you spend time in New York, too. Mm -hmm. On my mama's side and my and my daddy's side too. Yeah. Yeah, cause my daddy got cheering, cheering in New York too. Okay, so let's talk about your family then, your upbringing. How was the, what was that like? Talk to me. <laughs> Torture, fear, and respect and loyalty, bro. My daddy used to beat the shit out of me, bro. The shit my sister used to do. But I don't, it'll make me who I am today. I want to stay here. Okay, so your daddy used to beat you, so what, was he like an alcoholic? Did he just. Yeah, it's an evil drunk. I mean, oh, I'm an old man, baby. My daddy was 50 when he had me and my sister. Oh, and damn. he raised us by himself for 13 years. 14 years by himself. So what happened at the 14 years? He he what he just gave y'all up or I left home. Oh, okay. Damn, you left home pretty early, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. So what was it like growing up with, with your family then? You got some good memory. Some evil ass memory. It was it was it was all right. I'm saying, but if you could go, I need you. You want to go uh, into detail a little bit? Okay, we try. We I'm trying to hear. Y'all gonna say we trying to hear what's going. Want to get to know shit. you a little bit? Y'all ever got beat with a water hose before? A what? A water hose about three feet long with a knot for the handle. But he, what did y'all used to get beat for? Well, I used to get beat for because I used to look, look, look like my mama. I look like my mom. My Damn. dad was evil, bro. My dad used to get drunk and beat me, take a break, and beat my ass again. Get tired. Beat my ass again. So how does that affect like your school life with you making friends my school, and my 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 um uh, uh they got a uh says around uh uh I ain't gonna say her name. But she right there by the tire shop. She can tell you how my daddy was in school, about me in school. My dad used to make sure we used to be in school, do all homework, uh, perfect attendance. You ain't gonna miss that day. You sit, you still gonna take your ass to school. And in summertime, you gonna sit there and read before you meet, do your chores. You gonna read the newspaper and the Bible. The newspaper gonna tell you all the bad shit every day. So it wasn't really a lot of neglect. It was just more so abuse. Yeah, yeah. Holding two red bricks up in the air all day, and that nigga, that nigga sleep with his eyes. My daddy sleep with his eyes open. He did 17 years straight yeah, in Sing Sing prison in New York, <laughs> like the Bronx, New York. The prison they call Sing Sing, something like that. He did 17 years in that bitch. My dad was a, uh, my dad, he was a, uh, he was born in 1945. My father. Me and my father got the same name, right? So, his prime, like in my life right now, is like in the 70s. Can you, that's what my dad always say, what's up, Jack? Can you dig it? If anybody I know my dad, they're gonna say, can you dig it? Cause my dad used to say that shit all the time. Can you dig it, Jack? You all right? Can you dig it? What's up? 
can't dig it. For real, like, then it ever sent it. Because he was stuck in the seven. Yeah, so, come on. And my dad was uh, on that smack real bad, too. What kind of drugs is he on? Smack. Heron. In the, in the oh, world. he skipped the crack cocaine and all that. He went straight yeah, to dog food. My dad food. was so crack with us. But my dad still raised us. That's how me and my sister came about. My, my mama and my daddy were tricking. It was a little crack. So it just was a lot of abuse just growing up, just a lot of darkness, a lot of abuse. Was yeah. there like any, I, I can hear that there was a lot of drug abuse, emotional abuse, mental abuse, physical abuse. Was there any sexual abuse in your household? Uh, no. Okay. My dad wasn't like that. Okay. Now my sister, I don't know. Right. I mean, Y'all never talked about that? So just how did that make you feel growing up, just knowing that that's the kind of li life you were thrown into, the life, the kind of life you were born into, you know what I'm saying? Or the kind of life that... Not the being, not not having the right parent or the right guidance to be a productive citizen in life. And just, you know what I'm saying, just kind of thrown into the world just to, just lost, you know what I'm saying? Trying to fend for yourself and figure things out. I know that no, shit you, had to be you hard. Win. If not try, you win because you're going to die. If not, you're going to die. So it was school like, middle school, high school? How was that like for you? Best years of my life. Yeah? You was popular? Hell yeah. I know. You always, when I met, when I first met you, you had that little James Brown comedy thing to you. That's the first kind of personality you show to people. You feel me? Yeah, I used to play football. I play football. Were you good at it? Why didn't you go to college for it then? The street. Yeah. Drug. Caught up to you fast, right? Smelling myself, thinking I'm wrong. Nah. So then how was that life? How did that life transcend to after school? After, after you school. graduated school, like, you know. I didn't graduate. I, I left the 10th grade. I dropped out in the 10th grade. Really? Yeah. Why? Because I want to, I want to go and cut trees every day and cut yard for $100 a day. Every day. With Mr. Jennings and Mr. Pickett. I was about 15 minutes. I don't ice take my milk. Every day. Then I did every day. So when did the addiction start? At what I age? Like 14. Yeah. What drug did you start using? Like 13. Like weed. Mm-hmm. weed. I was in drugs today. Yeah. I was laughing. I remember my first time smoking weed. So you started smoking weed at 14. Okay, you know what I'm saying? you. Typically, I'm not even going to lie. From where I grew up. 14, I was smoking every day. Every day? Yeah. Like 14 minutes. Yeah. So what drug did you start doing after that? Then I started smoking cocaine. Smoking dirty. Right. Then... Then January, January the 31st, no, February, no, yeah, January 31st. And so we thought that when I, that when I first ever hit crack cocaine. It was like, it was like 2014. Remember that? I was 18 years old. Damn. Yeah, in the silver star. We're black, we're beyond, God rest in peace. Breon died right there on the next block at the old house. Shot him in the head. A couple years ago. His sister just died this year and his mama died this month. That shit crazy, man. That shit is. Did you ever, um, did, so y'all were close when we were never around the time of him passing? Yeah, because, um, uh, his sister used to go with his sister. Mm. I'm sorry oh, to hear that, yeah. man. Did you ever have a drinking problem? Hell no, nah, my sister got the drinking problem. 
Oh, okay, yeah, I you... used to get drunk. Yeah, I used to get drunk fucking my free liquor when I was like um, 16, 17. I used to go to the Civil Star and my free liquor. Get fucked up, them blue motherfuckers. <laughs> Yeah, like two, two, two cups. I get the third cup. I'm fucked up for real. Big cups, not the small ones. The big cups. Oh yeah, I just knew you was tough about them things. <laughs> they used to promote them at all the clubs when we was growing up. Got that pink panther too. Yeah. The Hulk. But I like that blue motherfucker in the Civil Star. Roy Terrace at Avenue B Civil Star. You already know. Right? Hell yeah, yeah, everybody know that's the place. I already, yeah. So tell me how did you, so you know what I'm saying, you can't, you've been from, coming from New York, Georgia, Florida, all Georgia. over. Georgia? I'm from Georgia and Florida, but I've never been to New York. Oh, you never been to New York? Oh, okay. So, you know what I'm saying, being mixed up in both states, you know what I'm saying, tell me how did you end up here? Shit, I went to come and follow my sister and my daddy and my grandmama. From being in and out of the country with my uncle and my auntie. Oh, that's pretty much who you grew up around. If he was in Georgia, your uncle and your no, auntie. It was my, it was my, it was my daddy. To, to my daddy. Oh, um, beat my ass real bad. And um, Mr. Martin seen that bit. And my dad got locked up, and and if I could put a restrainer out, I want to own it. And I was my auntie. I, I stayed with her like two or three years. That was when I stopped smoking weed. Me and John, John Alpha, my cousin, he's standing up. Well, he hit my cousin Jimmy Dollar. That's my auntie, right? That's my daddy. See, I was staying with my step auntie. But my real auntie, she stayed on the same property. Her name's Vernon, Vernon Mays Williams. You better not call her May even. Like my grandmama. You better not call her May. My grandma named Maddie May Benjamin. Maddie May Benjamin. You better don't call her May. <laughs> that old um, Vernon May Williams. That's my auntie. That's my daddy's blood sister through my granddaddy. My daddy, my daddy, daddy. My daddy, my my granddaddy had a daughter. Now my auntie Gloria Jean, that was. Auntie Vernon May, my Auntie Vernon May, that's how I go with G, my auntie. That was Vernon May's sister through her mom's side. But my daddy and Vernon May is my granddaddy, is my granddaddy tree. Oh, shit. No, well, how you doing, Uncle Papa? Chilling, chilling. She, she got like 10 more days. What day it is? The 16th. Oh, 16. She got she got five more days. You get out and tell her to come see me. Yes, sir. Hold it gone. She can come around there and stay. Yes, sir. Hey, Uncle Papa. She ain't got no water to stay. Tell her to come around there and holler at me. My girl don't want to stay. Yes, sir. Uncle Papa. Yes, sir. You don't need, you don't need anything tightened up over that bit? No, not right now, man. I'm going to look out for you, little lady. All right. I, I'll walk over that lady. All right, thank you. Hallelujah. <laughs> there you go. Look how God made it. Well, you finna get them drugs. Now you finna kick your feet together like three times like the Wizard of Oz. Nah. He's ready to put that smile nah, up on nigga, his face. I'm a Leo. I beat you with one hand behind my back. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. You're crazy. All right, so tell me what these last few years have been like for you. Oh, the three years? These last few years, you know what I'm oh. saying? How, how have they been like for you? Molly that. Do that. Survive. Yeah. You ever, you ever, you know what I'm saying? Feel like you had to fight for your life, rob, steal, yeah. kill, fight. Steal like them um, family dollars, though. Yeah. <laughs> Don't yeah. I know it? Oh, Miss Booster of the Year. Bring that bit off half price. <laughs> <laughs> Free nothing now. Nigga in, the, in, the, in the neighborhood, they already know what the price is. Right, man. that part, nigga, I already know what's going on with it. Hell yeah. So yeah, you know what I'm saying. You, you, uh, you know. Yeah. 
So what and you it, ever and, eat? And it's convenient. It's coming to you too. Hell yeah. And you driving that bitch up on that bike. So you ain't really had to fight or nothing either. I know you were just telling me you've been yeah, in these fights the last yeah. three days straight. Oh, no, it was like, yeah, no. Yeah, I had three fights in one day. Oh, damn. Yeah. That was like, what, 15 days ago? Like two weeks. That's the time. Yeah. I haven't been over here for at least 10 days. I was going to say, I ain't seen you around here in a minute, you too. You know, at the store or nothing, you just then. I've been going out the neighborhood. Ghost. Like 10 days. Yeah. What kind of energy do you try to keep around you? You know what I'm saying? I know you. Peace. Yeah. Peace. That's why I love. I always come back. Always. You know what I'm saying? But you do always try to keep that good energy around you, that yeah. James Brown energy. Yeah. I don't want going down here and get my damn phone later on. I hope it ain't no setup. Mm. Cause I know, oh man, cause that, that, I damn sure beat that nigga Jordan. He draw that knife on me and he swung. They, everybody seen it. And they said today, I, it, yeah, I wasn't wrong. Because everybody seen that nigga. And I bought that bitch. And he on that drunk shit. <laughs> Acting crazy, man. Still on that, that was my second fight uh day. My first one, I apologized to him. When I seen him, it was sure they had family dollar. Not um it was the sure the the one that be talking about he be hungry. I'll be at the food that be at the store too. Mm-hmm. With a little afro and wig. I think I know who you're talking about. Be on that bike. He don't be on the bike, he's walking. Oh, okay. I'm talking about he wants some food. We probably talking about two different people then. Shit, a lot of people around here be asking for help. I know, I probably have. I was finna say, I probably seen him. I hit that nigga so hard, though. I felt bad. I was like, all my. That nigga ran over my bicycle. Kenny ran over my bicycle that worked at Sonoco. He ran over my bicycle that day. Nigga didn't been on that bit about 15 minutes. To give a nigga a lighter back, that nigga ran over beach crew. <coughs> the whole hood seen that bitch. The whole hood know about that bitch. The whole barnet know about that bitch. That was fucked up. I said, bro, what I did to you? That nigga hold out his gun and talking about, you heard what I said? Fact. The nigga talking about, oh, boy, you gonna, you gonna, that nigga, you gonna do me like that. Damn. I know because I know because they pick and choose who they want to get to. Right. Pick and choose who they want to bully. They don't do it to no killers, nigga. I know killers right now. Killing people, some people. But they don't want to fuck with them. They don't want to fuck with a nigga that's chilling, trying to get high and get in his own lane. Don't fuck with him. Crash on in this lane. Or you won't crash on a nigga that on your type of time. I don't know why, you know, I don't know why they gonna do that. Mm. Mm. So do you keep in contact with any of your family members at this current moment? Yeah, I talk to all my family members. Talk to my grandma yesterday. Talk to my mama day before that. My sister gonna be in a couple days. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. At least you're keeping in contact with somebody. You know what I'm saying? It's good to always have them loved ones. You know what I'm saying? Around you. Have you and your father ever been in contact? Or have y'all tried to work through y'all? You know what I'm saying? My dad been gone for six years. Oh, wow. Rest in peace. I'm sorry to hear that, baby. Yeah. How you been coping with that? I'm been all right. He with me every second. He right around me right now. What's up, G? So what are you telling me your biggest fears then? Paranoid. Thinking the world, whole world after me when I get high. You just be going crazy thinking everybody out to get you. But just know I ain't never out to get you now. Mm -hmm. I 
ain't, I ain't, I ain't even, you feel me? We good. We good. All right? All I right. can cope with that too, though. Did your family? Did your family have like any history of like mental <clears throat> illness that you feel like um might affect you or that you may feel like you know yeah, you might have? Yeah. How I raised up, what I don't seen like, should I experience in life? Shit, real. You know that shit builds up. It does, and it has a way of just coming in and affecting your adult life, too, especially if you never kind of get the proper help or the proper attention that you need, you know what I'm saying, to work through those things. Um, so I know you said you're 27, you feel me? You live a very, a very interesting life, you know what I'm saying, to say the least. So at this point in your life, do you feel like you have any goals that you're setting for the next five years or yeah, any I goals that you have for job. your life? I need help filling out the job application, though, on, on, on the device. I got my ID two days, no, three days ago. I had lost that bitch when I came home from jail. When I got that bitch back, got my social security card. So I ain't no excuse, I just need it. Um, both of that, my mama house. So what's your goal just to get a job or, you know, is there yeah, anything right that now, you want to do with your life or any impact you want to make goal, on the goal? I'm trying to work on one goal at a time. That's good, that's good. So yeah, a job definitely is doable and i definitely hope that you know what i'm saying you obtain that and when you do i know you know what i'm saying i see you around in the hood you'll definitely tell me about it so i'm hoping that you feel me that does get better for you so then that does take the question do you have like you know before i wrap this up do you have any message that you want to give out to anyone who sees this anyone who gonna view this you know what i'm saying because i'm trying to build my platform so you know i'm hoping to reach Y'all already know what that's it. I don't went viral a couple times. We're going to get some money off this. <laughs> hey, all right. That's, um, chapter one. Just the diary. Mm -hmm. Autobiography. What are you telling? Get your hand out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> What's your message though? Come on, I need a message. I need you to go out with a bang. A message. Girl, you should have warned me for the message before I could be prepared. You gotta be prepared for the message. Shit, say but your famous James Brown line or something. You always got some yeah, shit. Yeah. Give me up, turn me loose. I got a lot of James Brown. Can we see a dance move? I want to see a little dance move. You can do a little oh, dance. Well, I got bad feet, but I dance good. You talking about I got bad, bad feet? I got, I got bad feet right now. I had an ugly ass scene this morning. <laughs> what happened this morning? About 40 degrees. That, that, oh, yeah. That, you that, about, you that about kid me. yourself. Yeah. Well, I threw my nuts off out that moment, bro. Ugly stage. Y'all don't, don't know about the ugly stage. Wrapping, wrapping my feet up with a damn dirty ass shirt. Should I find? What the fuck my feet go? Something's up, Same feet I fly. I don't have no socks on. I'm just put these socks on. But come on, let's go. Some facts. Two of them. Oh, um, you know, my shit was cold. Um, nigga, right there at Gates on the Riverside. On that bench. They know them cars coming through that bench. That extra wind. And you got the wind coming from the river rock. Huh? You know it was cold. Freezing cold. And nigga say, nigga say, his chick say 48 degrees. This morning. When I asked how cold it was. Around on, on 3 o'clock. They said 3 o'clock it was 48 degrees. That's that's un, that's unhuman inhumane. They got that bitch. They got that bitch with a uh, drunk. Y'all y'all already seen what I had on. Same shit I had on yesterday. Did I have socks on yesterday when you seen me? Hello. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know if you have none on. 